Hi everyone, this is a rant because I am enraged. So if you guys don't know, I'm buying a house and I wanted to do an FHA loan, which means that the down payment is really low, is 3.5%. My house was $70,000. The down payment was like $3,000 I think or something like that. But guess how much money I will need for closing? $10,500, that does not include the attorney fees, that does not include the flood insurance, that does not include the homeowner's insurance, and that does not include my appraisal or my, um, oh, what do you call it, the inspection. So it's just <laughs> like if, if you need that much money, they should tell you that you need that much money. The reason that you go with, for a down payment with like a low down a loan with a low down payment is because you don't have that much money. That's why you pick that type of loan. But no, you have to have twelve thousand more dollars than you actually have to buy this house with a loan that has a low down payment. So I just I just wanted to rant. I I have the down payment money and I also have to pay for like all the closing costs. Whatever they are, I don't know why it takes that much money to close. My inspection was $350. I need flood insurance because it's by a little tiny creek that hasn't flooded since 1970. So I'm in the highest flood zone, which why f flood insurance is ridiculous. It's never going to flood. I mean, I shouldn't say that because next thing I know it's going to flood, <laughs> but it's it's literally never going to flood. So my flood insurance is probably going to be around $1,000 and the, it can like stay in escrow, but I have to pay the first year up front. Why would I pay the first year up front when I don't have the money to buy the house in the first place? And that's why I'm taking out the loan. Because if you don't know how flood insurance works, the loan requires the flood insurance. So if you just buy it outright with cash, you don't need flood insurance. So the previous owner didn't have flood insurance, so they didn't know how much the flood insurance would be. But I had to take a loan because I don't have any money because I just graduated college and I have to buy this thousand dollar flood insurance for a year and pay it a year up front. And then after that year, it will be held in escrow, but not until after that year. I also have to buy homeowner's insurance that I need before I close, which was, I think it was nine, maybe it was $800 or $900 that I have to pay a year up front. I don't know why, but I have to pay that a year up front. So that's $2,000. And then the appraisal was... 500 and the attorney fees is $700 and they didn't even like give me a choice if I wanted an attorney or not they're like which attorney do you want to use so I told them which attorney I wanted to use and I mean I don't know if I actually need one or not I've been told I don't I've been told I do whatever um so that is $700 not that's not included in the closing costs so that's 3,000 extra dollars right there and then Obviously, I need money when I move in because the house is, it needs some work. So I need money when I move in. And so it just, it just keeps adding up. So the moral of this story is if you're buying a house, literally plan for like four times more than you need because it just doesn't make any sense. If, if you're getting an FHA loan with a down payment of 3.5%, why do you need four times more than that? The whole point of the FHA loan is for people who don't make that much income. So save your money is the moral of the story because the inspection the inspection is the first cost, which is not that bad. And you, you go in and you're like, oh yeah, this isn't bad at all. And then they just, they just keep adding up and adding up and adding up. And then I had to put a deposit down of $1,000 for my closing costs and that's another upfront cost and I also had to put a $500 deposit for the appraisal so there was another $500 upfront cost so there's a lot of upfront costs but then there's also a lot of other costs as well 
the closing costs, I just, I don't even know where they come up with all those closing costs. It does not cost that much to close on a house. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> pretty sure that just goes in their pocket, but whatever. I'm no expert. So on the day of closing, I will need $10,200 plus my attorney fees and plus <laughs> food, money for food that I'm not going to be able to afford after I buy this house, but whatever, it's fine. I just wanted to get on here and rant because I'm sure that people look for rants on the internet of people buying a house. I don't know. So that is all. If you like this video, you can you can give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna like or watch this video, but you can give it a thumbs up if you really want to. And if you want to subscribe so that I can get to a thousand subscribers and get monetized and make money from YouTube, that would be great because I don't have any any money after I close on this house. So yeah, do do what you want. But that's all. Well, I'll see you next time in maybe a little bit more happy video. <laughs>